In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, that hi. sounds like fun. Yes. What are you singing there? Why are you singing? Uh, it's just because I went to the... I actually went for a walk at the Storfman Hill. And you know what I heard? Mm -mm. Tell me. I heard a lion roaring. Are there lions on Kestorfen Hill? No, it's in the zoo. Oh, but that sounds like a nice song. Would you like yeah. to teach it to me and the boys and the girls? Um, yeah, I can try that if you'd like. Please, 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 please. It's in the jungle. In the jungle, okay. in Kestorfen jungle. Okay. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. A wee, a wee, a wee, a wee, a wee. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Esther. And I'm going to tell you the story about a man called Daniel, who lived a very, very long time ago. He lived in a place called Babylon. And the king who lived in Babylon was called Darius. And Darius was a great and wonderful king. And he governed over a huge area of land. And Daniel helped him to make the laws and to look after the people and care for the land that they lived in. Now, it was he was such a great king that he had a lot of helpers, but Daniel was his special helper. So, the other helpers were a bit jealous of Daniel and they wanted to get Daniel into trouble. So they went to the king and they said, Oh, King Darius, you are so great and wonderful and amazing. We think people ought to bow down and pray to you and to honour you. Well, King Darius thought, well, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's do it for the next 30 days. And then his helper said, well, if anyone is caught not doing that, they should be sent to the den of lions. Oh, right, said Darius. Mm -hmm, that sounds a good idea. Let's do that. So he made a new law and the law said that you had to bow down and worship Darius the king. And if you didn't do that, you would get thrown to the den of lions. Well, the helpers knew that Daniel worshipped God and he would pray to God and they knew that he wouldn't pray and bow down to Darius like he would have to do. So they went spying on Daniel and they caught him praying to God. And when they saw that, they captured Daniel and they took him to the king. When the helpers took Daniel to the king, they said, Oh, great and wonderful and marvellous King Darius, you're not going to believe this. Your very best helper, Daniel, has been praying to God and not praying to you. You're going to have to throw him into the den of lions. Oh dear, well Darius realised that he had been tricked. But because he'd made the law, he had to send Daniel to the den of lions. So that very day Daniel was taken and he was thrown into the deep, dark den where the lions lived. Oh, 
such fierce lions, and poor Daniel was down there with them. Well, Darius realised he'd done something very, very bad, and he was really worried that Daniel wasn't going to make it through the night. So he couldn't sleep, and he tossed and turned all night long. And the next morning he went down really early, and he really hoped that Daniel's God had saved him. And he shouted down into the pit, the den with the lines in it, and he said, Daniel, Daniel, has your God saved you? Are you all right? And a voice came back to him, and it was Daniel. And he said, yes, king, I am all right. My God sent an angel, and the angel has shut the mouths of the lions, and look, they're all sleeping. Well, King Darius was amazed. And he said, Daniel, Daniel, come out, come out, tell me all about this wonderful God of yours. So Daniel clambered out of the den of lions and he said to the king, my God is God. He is the one and only God. And Darius was so amazed at what had happened. He said, everybody in our land is going to worship your God this God who has saved you, Daniel. And that's what happened. Daniel went back and he carried on being King Darius's helper. And all the people were told that they were to worship God in the way that Daniel did.
Today we are making our very own lion's mane to put around us. For this you will need these colours of paper. If you don't have these colours you can either colour or paint paper. We'll also need tape or glue stick, lollipop sticks, a plate to draw around, a pencil to draw with, scissors or a paper cutter and a cardboard box. First thing you want to do is open your cardboard box, get your plate and draw around it. Next thing you can ask a adult to help you with drawing a border around the outside because the circle in the middle is what we're going to cut out. Then you want to cut out the wide circle from your cardboard box, then cut out the inner circle. Once we've done that, um, we are going to need to make one to two centimeter strips of our paper. If you have a paper cutter and your parents are letting you use it, you can use it or you can just use scissors. Once you've got all your curls, you're going to want to um, start to glue it around your frame circle. This may take a while. That's my first round done. Now I'm going to do my second one. Once you've done that, you can get your lollipop sticks. If you want, you can make it longer by saw taping them together. Then you'll want to stick it to the back. This is what it should look like at the end. Meow. <laughs> yeah.